Hey everybody, so I've been watching a lot of um, Sam and Logan Fide. Jonathan has been posting his, or he's redoing his uh, complete comic book collection videos. And I've been watching these things, and it's kind of inspired me to do one. I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about getting into my comics, but I figured I'd do one on my trades and just see how it goes over. I mean, it is what it is, and I have some stuff that uh, I'm sure not everybody has, and I have some cool stories and all that jazz, so if um, this gets received well, or at all, then maybe I'll do a collection video. Okay, but let's just get to this. This is, and in no particular order, except for like, I have them by Arth Arthur. Arla. Wow. Arthur. Author. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's a long day yesterday. It's an early morning. I have coffee. We can all get through this together. But anyway, yeah, Bring on the Bad Guys by Stanley. I got this at the the shop where everything's half off, so I paid a dollar fifty for it. They say it's unfair. I don't really care about the little corner missing. I was, why not? A dollar fifty. Cool. This is my copy of uh, Cursed Pirate Girls. Um, Francis McMenamin, my good buddy, was uh, nice enough to get this signed and. He bought me the book and then got the signature and the sketch and the whole thing. That's pretty cool. This is a great book. I highly recommend this if you guys haven't read this yet. This is beautiful. Up next, we have Matt Wagner's Grindle, Devil Child, Diana Schultz, and Tim Sell. This is on uh, my short list of favorites ever, like top ten, maybe even top five comics ever, 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 ever. Three issue limited. Great, 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 great stuff. Love this book. This is uh, Dave Gibbons, The Originals. <sighs> I can't even remember where I picked this up. But I picked it up because it was Dave Gibbons. It reminded me a little bit of... Um, uh, what's that movie? Quadrophenia? A little bit. And then there's like this twist ending at the end that's supposed to be this big deal. But it kind of... It, it kind of came off a little overplayed in that regard. But yeah, I like that. This is White Death. Um, I picked this up because at the time I was a really big Charlie Adler fan. This was uh, as I came into The Walking Dead. I was getting it in trades when I got back into comics. But this is drawn on charcoal on gray paper with chalk. So it's charcoal, chalk, and gray paper. And it's World War I, Italians fighting Germans in the mountains with Italy. This is really cool. I dug it. It was interesting. It wasn't what I was expecting from Charlie Adler. His stuff is usually a little bit more refined. Even like his early stuff. I have some like his, uh, his Green Lantern that was uh, a little bit... This is just kind of sketchy. I dig it though. It's great. And I guess you can't really, you know, correct lines if you're drawing on charcoal. Or with charcoal. Here we have Nemo, Alan Moore. That's book one. This is book two, The Roses of Berlin. This is probably my favorite out of the three. And then River of Ghosts. So that is the Nemo trilogy. It's also a lot of fun. I had intended at one point of doing a, a video based on, like, the... Uh, the literary references in this book, but I'm still working on that. This is one of my favorites. Can we see this? This is Telesan. This is uh, the last, or one of the last screenplays that Jim Henson was working on before he passed away. Um, they've done a couple in this format. My lady has one. It's like uh, the Monster Island kind of, it's like Muppets. It's cute. It's not this kind of thing, but this is great. I was talking to a buddy of mine at work about this the other day. But yeah, this book is gorgeous. Highly recommend this too, if you can find it. I think it's out of print, which is a shame because it is, it is a beautiful book. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Come on, you. This is Duck Feet by Los Bros Hernandez. Um, I want to say this was, uh, I got this from our good buddy Gore Vidal. I really enjoyed it, and he also sent me this Outer States uh, in a bunch of service at one point. 
Awesome dude. Check him out. This is the complete ballad of Halo Jones. Um, I used to work with this guy, this all tattooed up. I mean, this guy was, he was a piece of work. He was rude and condescending and racist and everything else. But then like one day he's like, yeah, hey, I got some comics. And I'm like, that's great, man. You can go wipe your ass with him. But he, uh, he just gave me this. So that's cool. Alan Moore. Interesting. There's a character in this book that has changed gender so many times. She, he can't remember who she is. He is. Then we got this. Yeah, that. I love this too. This is great. I got this at a flea market here in town for just a couple bucks. It was plastic wrapped and I was so excited to get into it that I ripped the dust cover taking the plastic off. It was sad, but I taped it because I don't care. <laughs> this is, can, is this showing? All right. Yeah, the Comics Journal Library, Jack Kirby. This is really cool. This goes all the way through. I think, uh, yeah, there's the stuff from when he's in World War II. And I want to say it stops with, like, his fourth world stuff, if I remember correctly. But everything is in this. This book is gorgeous. This is great. There's essays and interviews and everything else. And I only paid a couple bucks for it. <sighs> this isn't really a trade, but I like this kind of thing. Um, I picked this up after I met Tim Sell, what, like two years ago? I kind of wish I would have had it when I met him because I would have liked to have had him sign it. I got this. Same thing. This is from Mike Zek. But I got him to sign this. I had to buy it. Or I bought it from him. And that was cool. He was a nice guy. This is my The Art of Neil Adams book. Signed by Neil Adams. Um, I picked this up before I met him. The book was really cool. I didn't think he was as cool as that book. I'll get this stuff out of the way. Here we have The Pro by Amanda Connor, or Garth Ennis, Amanda Connor, and Jimmy Palmiotti. Cool lady. She signed that. I just showed, showed that off in one of my videos. My copy of Punk Rock Jesus. Love this book. Um, I got this really cheap, too. It's, you know, it's, that's kind of like one of the things with trades with me. It's, if I can get it cheap, then I'm getting it cheap. And speaking of getting it cheap... Here we go. This is the complete bone. My sister got this for me at like a cargo largo kind of thing. She paid 15 bucks. But I think she got like half off on that because she had a coupon or something too. This was a great couple of days reading this thing. I might keep this out and reread it. This is wonderful. If you guys haven't read bone, you got to do it. This is brilliant. Don't let the little demeanor in the cutesy art like fool you. This guy is a master storyteller and this stuff goes in some very unique and interesting places. This is brilliant, 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 brilliant. Um, my neighbor, one of my neighbors is in the Girl Scouts and they found out that I was into comic books so they had me come in and talk about comic books to the Girl Scout troop and I took some stuff to like illustrate the difference between like the various degrees of what people are doing in comics and this was one of the things I took this is great 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 it says right there on the top 10 best graphic novels of all time I agree read it read it read it read it read it you don't have to get in singles because I didn't but yes great stuff if you got kids in school and they have the book fair they sell and that'll take us right into Razzle I have a couple of these in singles. Um, I want to say I got this from InStock. Maybe. I don't remember. But I know I didn't pay cover. I don't like paying cover really for any of these. But great stuff. I like Bone better. But this was really good. This should totally be a movie or a TV series or whatever. This, is, this, this reads like it should be on TV. In the best way. East to West Year One. This was a gift. Thank you, Ethan. 
This is my deluxe edition martial law. Martial law is one of my favorite characters. I have a complete collection of martial law. Wait, do I? I think I'm missing, um, there's one book I think I'm missing in martial law. And then a couple of the early stuff, the, the English versions. Like King's English, like from England English. Not the crappy English I'm attempting to speak right now. And my Grant Morrison omnibus. I got this because I was tired of waiting to find a good price for the issues I had left so I could read it. So I just bit the bullet. I got this off of InStock. Stupid cheap. I think this is like a, yeah, $75 cover. I got it for a lot less than $75. Cool. Here we have The Strange Life or The Strange Talent of Luther Strode. Um, I know a lot of people like to try more stuff when he was on Ghost Rider. This was a gift. This was a birthday present from my buddy Dano. Super cool. I don't, I'm not sure why he picked it out, <clears throat> but it's pretty good. I liked it. This is my only Sandman trade. I have a lot of Sandman in singles. I have the first, I think, 12. Mostly because I picked them up because I was a big Sam Keith fan. Still am. No, these are out of order. So I got one. Um, I got late to that party, so I got the first couple in trades. I'm only missing a couple issues, but there's no way I'm paying the price that they want for the singles and that. This is another one of my favorites. And I don't know very many people that read it. Rogue Trooper. I grew up on this. I grew up in Germany, and I came across... I don't even want to say it was PC. It might have just been straight up... Uh, what is it? 2000 AD stuff. And... Immediately fell in love. So this is volume one and volume two. And unless I'm mistaken, there is another one. I can't remember, but great stuff. Kind of wish it was in color, but it is what it is. Come here, you. Oh, no. Hi, everybody. We good? Okay. V for Vendetta. Everybody loves it. I can't finish reading it. It's I keep putting it down. I don't know. Maybe it's just not for me. This is The Ultimates 2, Volume 1. I used to have uh, The Ultimates 1. I have them all in singles now. I liked it. Um, I might keep this out. A friend of mine at work was interested in it. Here we have Fantastic Four, Ultimate Fantastic Four. Mark Millar stuff. It is what it is. I have some more of those. Eh, I'm not sure why I picked them up. This is pretty cool. The 49ers. Alamar Jean Ha. Um, in... Hi, Kitty. This is Bose. Say hi, Bose. Um, what is it? Uh, we'll get back to that anyway. And then we have Stray Bullets, Volume 1, 2, 3, 4... And five. And I picked all those up cheap at the uh, my honey hole place up the street. That was a good day. Now, this is hands down one of my favorite books ever. Why the Last Man. So I got all these. No big deal. And I have them all in singles. It was a lot easier to do before it got stupid, stupid expensive. But this is also some great stuff. I highly recommend it. Yada yada yada. This is seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the end, the last issue of Why the Last Man, the last couple of issues of Why the Last Man. If that doesn't make you cry, you and me can't be friends. Because that book will like rip your heart out. It's so sad. And just because I was so into um why the Last Man? I started getting these. This is Ex Machina by Brian K. Vaughn and Tony Harris. I like Tony Harris. I like Brian K. Vaughn. This was good. It wasn't stupendous. I didn't really stick with it very long. That's volume four. This is or that's that this is volume four. Three. This is five. Six. And seven. Yeah, it was okay. I mean he 
it can't all be Saga in my last name. Here's a treasure. This is one of my favorite stories ever. Craven's Last Hunt. And I've had this copy for, for 20 years. This book has been in my collection for 20 years. And I got it signed by Mike Zek. So I'm keeping this thing forever. Anyway, but now, like, doubly because it's signed by Mike Zek. Who didn't care at all. <laughs> but it is what it is. Wow, we're almost there. We're like halfway there. Stick with me, people. I promise. Jeez. Okay. Walking Dead. I know, everybody's got The Walking Dead. Tony Moore. Okay, one, two, three. And I like the way, like, the covers go together. That's pretty cool. Four, five, six. It was good. It kind of got a little repetitive for me, and then I kind of just completely gave up once, uh... They killed off Glenn. But yeah, that's all I got. I've been debating on whether or not to get volume 14 and keep going with it, but I mean, at this point, I was already kind of over it. Hi, boss. Here we go with some more. Excuse me, Giddy. Brian K. Vaughn, Pride of Baghdad. Um, we blow the crap out of Baghdad in the war. Animals escaped from the zoo. It's a pride of lions roaming around Baghdad based on a true story. Pretty cool. Hellboy Volume 1 and Hellboy Volume 8. Those are the only two I have. Duncan Forgato. Man, I looked into getting some of his art. I might actually pull the trigger. This is Judge Dredd, the Mega Collection. Volume 1. That was my Judge Dredd voice. I hope you liked it. <clears throat> this was a gift from uh, our friends from Ireland. You know who you are, you wonderful gentleman, you. Then we have Fear Agent in Volume 1. Rick Remender, Tony Moore. Great story. Loved it. I got my buddy Ethan into it. He's got the Omnibuy. Omnibuses, whatever. The plural is for that word. This is Volume 3 and 4. Cool stuff, lots of fun, great book. Super concept high science fiction stuff. Goon Book Zero, The Goon Book One and Two. That's all I got for the Goon. Um, it's good. And my, my lady is a big Eric Powell fan. She's got a bunch of stuff. And I really want to get his uh, Chinatown book. I've heard good things. And this is like a throwback from way back when. I bought that when it was new. <laughs> Harbinger. And then my only Invincibles. I don't know why I started with uh, Volume 8. I guess there's just something about the cover. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Again. Cool. My videos are so great. My, uh, my technical prowess and technological efficiency is mind-boggling here we go there you go look at that look at that Walter Simonson Rob Liefeld cable <laughs> I bought that when it was new too I was a big uh, New Mutants fan and then you know everything changed Rob Liefeld and the whole deal and that was just kind of stupid but everybody got on board with that who was around then don't lie don't say you didn't Everybody loved it at first. Now we just make fun of him. <clears throat> Cowboy Ninja Viking number one. And Cowboy Ninja Viking number two. From Cammy. <clears throat> this is the Nom Volume 1. <clears throat> from Sarge TD. Thank you very, very much, sir. I keep saying one of my favorites, one of my favorites, one of my favorites. But this is one of my favorites. Preacher Volume 1. Um, I have... Two different versions of this trade. I'm not sure where the other one is. This is great. I, uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to mess up the TV show. Mess it up on the TV show. That's volume two. Three. Four. And I was picking these up in trade exclusively when I got back into comics. At the same time I was getting uh, Y and um, The Walking Dead. 
six, but it was still a thing. Like it was still out. They were still putting it out in seven. So once I got to this point, I'd caught up with the monthly. So then I just started getting in singles and I've gone back and since and finished off my preacher run. So that's cool. That's a book that's stupid expensive now too. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. I don't think these are in order. All right, Astro City, another great book. It's been all over the place. Marvel, or not Marvel, but DC, and then Image, and then back to, I don't know, is it still at Image? I don't remember. So yeah, that's two of those. This is my favorite. This is my favorite, the Tarnished Angel. And that's all of that I have. I have the authority. I try really hard to like this Warren Ellis book. I just can't. It's, I don't know why. It's Brian Hitch. It's Warren Ellis. Those dudes are great. It's really pretty. It's just... I just can't do it. I can't do it. And look, it's Batman. Okay, Death and the Family. Let's move on. Oh, look, there's more. Dark Knight Returns. Don't hate me. This is the greatest Batman stories ever told because it says the greatest Batman stories ever told. And there's the killing joke. Look, I have some Batman. Okay. Okay, this is it. I know I keep saying that, but really this is it. This is The Damned. This is by Colin Bunn and Brian Hurt. They did this before they did The Sixth Gun. Thank you very much for the signature, fellas. Harold County, number volume one. Great book. Great book. Highly recommend it. Six Gun. Yeah, all these are signed. I'm not going to brag. That's volume one. This is volume two. And volume three. And I also get this in singles, but I double dip on the trades because I buy them from them. And then this is the Sons of the Gun. It's a, It was a mini series about the bad guys in the book. Okay, cool. That was really long. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. Bye.